نفس إن لم تغفري لا تجزعي First of all, the Barzakh life is a life which is a barrier, which has a barrier between this world that we live in and a world that is unexplainable to us. We can't understand it. It is a life of a certain type with its own, with its own, own reality. And it is nothing like this world. And it is not the here after the day of judgment, nor is it this world. It is somewhere in between. Allah says in the Quran, بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخٌ لَا يَبْغِيَانٌ About the two oceans that meet in this life. It says, between them there is a barrier, the two seas do not mix. So this, this we use the word barzakh. And the same word is used for that life after here, before the day of judgment. Allah says in the Quran, وَمِن وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ and behind them, after them, meaning after you die, there is a barzakh world. Until the day you are resurrected. This points out to us that there is a life barrier that does not mix with this life and does not mix with the day of judgment. But in a verse it talks about not mixing particularly between the life after death and this world that you're living. You can't mix. You don't know what's happening to them, they don't know what's happening to you. And you cannot understand them. When you are dead, you understand what's happened though. It's a barzakh, a barrier between this life and the next, the, when you're dead, before the day of resurrection. This barzakh world, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, as soon as you die, the soul begins to experience the barzakh world. If you want me to give you a slight example, if you want to get it closer to your minds, in a very slight example, but it's not exactly like that, consider dreams when you're asleep. Your body is in the room and everyone can see your body, witness your body, touch your body, hear you. But your soul is doing something different, seeing something different, hearing something different. Isn't that right? It's in a different place. Don't even know where you are sometimes or often. But your body is there. To the living person, the person who is awake, all I can tell you is I see a body that's sleeping. <coughs> But you're in a whole different world. Some people are sleeping, they don't even know that they're sleeping. They think it's reality. And some people know that they're sleeping when they're dreaming. Have you ever experienced that? You know you're asleep. So the barzakh world is similar to when your soul goes out when you're asleep. Similar. You don't require oxygen. Have you ever seen yourself in your dream underwater? And you're talking? <laughs> Okay, sometimes it's a result of the brain, we know that. But also the soul does go to places where the soul doesn't need to survive on what use your body survives. The body survives on food and oxygen, but the soul doesn't. So if you can understand dreams, you can understand the barzakh. As for me, I don't think anybody understands the phenomena of dreams and the way the soul comes out when you're asleep. And similarly, we cannot comprehend the barzakh world. This barzakh world, my dear brothers and sisters, is a temporary station between here and the hereafter, the day of judgment. In this temporary barzakh world, a person is able to find out if they are going to heaven or hell. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ says, إِنَّ الْقَبْرَ أَوَّلُ مَنَازِلِ الْآخِرَةِ فَإِن نَجَى مِنْهُ أَحَدْ فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَيْسَرَ مِنْهُ وَإِن لَمْ يَنْجُ مِنْهُ فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَشَدَّ مِنْهُ أو أشد من. The grave is the first part of the hereafter, of the Day of Judgment. If he or she is saved from the punishments and torments of the grave, then whatever is after it is going to be better and easier. He'll be saved from more bigger things. If he is not saved from the torments and punishments of the grave, then whatever is going to come after that is going to be worse. And we mentioned last week, that a believer, when he sees his place in Jannah, when the angels show him in paradise, in, in the grave, he says, Oh my Lord, let the last hour come. I want to go to Jannah. And the disbeliever says, when they see their place in hellfire, when the angels show him in the grave, he says, Oh my Lord, don't let the last hour come. Don't let it go. Because he knows that what's going to come after that is going to be worse. My brothers and sisters in Islam, when a person goes to the grave, the Prophet ﷺ tells us, he or she takes with them three things. One stays and two return. What stays with you are your deeds. 
your good and bad deeds. Because that's what's going to determine where you're going to be and what's going to happen to you in your grief. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Al-Barzakh life means that a person will be either punished or rewarded in a certain way in there and it is the sign for what is going to come next. The Prophet Sallallahu indicates or tells us that the dead people visit each other in their grave. Now, the dead people visit each other in their grave. For he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you bury your dead, then make their kafan, make their shroud nice and put on beautiful fragrance to them, make them presentable. For the people of the grave yatazawarun, they visit one another. And in Sahih Muslim, Prophet Sallallahu said, إِذَا كَفَّنَ أَحَدُكُمْ أَخَاهُ فَلْيُحْسِنْ كَفَّنُ If any of you put the shroud on your brother, then make it presentable. Presentable, meaning it's an image for someone else who's going to see it. There is a similar hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu tells us uh, that bury your dead with the salihun, with the righteous people. For the neighboring person of a grave can harm the person who is next to them if they are being punished. They said, Ya Rasulullah, when they're dead, how are they going to be harmed? He said, won't you get harmed by your neighbor in real life? They said, yes. He goes, and therefore when you're dead, you get harmed by your neighboring dead person. So if you can, choose a grave that is righteous. If you cannot, it's okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look after them, make dua for them. The Prophet sallallahu tells us to think about these moments. He said, أَمَا أَنَّكُمْ لَوْ أَكْثَرْتُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ هَادِمِ اللَّذَّاتِ لَشَغَلَكُمْ عَمَّا أَرَى يعني الموت فَأَكْثِرُوا ذِكْرَ هَادِمِ اللَّذَّاتِ الموت فَإِنَّهُ لَمْ يَأْتِي عَلَى الْقَبْرِ يَوْمٌ إِلَّا تَكَلَّمَ فِيهِ فَيَقُولُ أَنَا بَيْتُ الْغُرْبَةِ Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say talk a lot about death يعني not just death talk about the hereafter Talk about the purpose of life. When you talk about the hereafter, it means you're talking about the purpose of why you're actually here. He said, for it is, if you were to talk about it a lot, then it will help you not to be distracted by what I see. And when you go into the grave, the grave talks to you. And the grave says, I am the house of the strangers. I am the house of being alone. I am, and the Prophet Sallallahu said, the closest Allah is to his servant or one of the closest times he is to his servant is when he's in the grave. When he has no father or mother or children or brothers or sisters to accompany him or friends, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is there for, for a believer. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that a person who is being punished in their grave, the animals can hear him or her. Ali radiallahu anha or Aisha radiallahu anha said, Two old Jewish women entered my house one time in Medina because they were neighbors. And they said to me, The people of the grave get punished inside their graves. So I said to them, You are lying. This is not true. People in their graves don't get punished. Then they left. Then the Prophet Sallallahu entered and I said, Ya Rasulullah, two old women from the Jews came to me and said, the people of the grave get, are getting punished in their graves. The Prophet Sallallahu said, We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.